Today, I'm challenging New Air to a race. I'm challenging the Stone Brewing collaboration with them, 125 can beer froster to see who's faster. Let's go. All right, this race is pretty simple. This beer froster from New Air has a turbo mode. For one hour, it kicks it down to 27 degrees. Theoretically, that can chill a beer pretty dang quick. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm throwing in a pack of Blue Moon. I am going to race this thing. If it gets to 40 degrees before I finish 180 push-ups, I have to drink whatever beers that equals to. So that's about 30 push-ups of beer. So let's go ahead and start the race. Now wait, I did not even explain what party mode or turbo mode are. Turbo mode is taking this machine and going down to 23 degrees and chilling for a total of an hour. Now it will hold, hold that at an hour and basically frost your beer. So if you're just normally chilling a, a blue moon, then it will take it from whatever, like 40 degrees to 23 for that hour. Party mode does the same thing, but holds it for six hours. And then the machine goes back to whatever temp you have it set at. So am I using this with the intended purpose of turbo mode? No, but I do want to see how far it will bring a beer down in this allotted time. So turbo mode is activated. It's at 23 degrees. These beers are starting at 71.1. Let's see how far they get by the time I finish this challenge. Turbo mode engaged. Let the race begin. Just FYI, this sucks. I'm a runner. I don't have a lot of upper body strength. This is a very stupid challenge. Let me keep trying. I'm immediately regretting this challenge. I originally thought I would do maybe some running or something. It would've been a whole lot easier. I'm only 60 in. And uh, my arms hurt a lot. Okay, look. I know what you're thinking. Only done 90. I can't do any more. Switching to mad breath. Switching to jumping jacks. And I'm gonna do a thousand jumping jacks. You still going though. Listen, I just checked the uh, temp. 300 um, jumping jacks in, and uh, not too worried about this challenge now. This thing's moving a little slower than I thought it would. Woo, 600 deep. I think the worst part I'm hitting now, breakfast was about two hours ago, and it's not being friendly. At the final 100, I'm about to lose my breakfast. Sorry if that's TMI. Hey, that was 100. Let's see if I won. All right. Let's see where we're at. Oh man, this is a bit of a brutal challenge. 61.9 degrees Fahrenheit in, in like, I think 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna review this thing. From a beer frosting perspective, 40 minutes at 23 degrees Fahrenheit, this thing only dropped at about seven or eight degrees. I would say if you're using it in the turbo function to quickly chill your beers, you're better 
off just throwing it into a freezer, honestly. Um, but I won't hold that completely against them because it's still doing its job. Well, let's talk about the outside. I think that one of the, whoa, man, I'm spilling this beer. I think one of the best things about this is the outside design. Now, some people are gonna absolutely hate it. Um, I'll show you some video of it. It is by Stone Brewing or the collaboration with them. So it's got their artwork on the sides. It's pretty unique in that perspective. So if you are into that kind of artwork design, that's there. It's got Stone Brewing up front. The front plate face has a light, has a lock on it, which I guess can lock its temp. I, I'm assuming that means if it was in turbo mode or uh, actually I think it just locks the temp in general. There's a party mode that brings it to, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Party mode, oh, I gotta get out of that. Party mode puts it at 23 or the turbo for six hours. So if you had a party and you needed to quickly chill beers, even though it's not that great. I know some of you are gonna say, well, you know, I normally buy my beers already kind of chilled as it is. Um, so you might not have this problem. Going from room temp to chilled did not go very well. Inside, it's like your standard, I mean, mini fridge, quite frankly. It's uh, a little bit bigger than a mini fridge, 120 can, pretty uh, decent size. Now, I will say the compressor in this thing takes up a lot of space down here. Um, yeah, it's, it's rather large. There's not a lot of space down here. Um, there's space up here, probably enough to throw a three gallon keg in if you're really wanting to do that. I have not filled this thing up with brews, so I can't attest to that, but I can tell you that it would, would work. Uh, the light is nice. It's pretty unified, nice design. Not a ton of space, quite honestly, for what you're paying. It's really hard to talk about much more of this because it's a, it's a fridge and its intended purpose is to make things cold, and it does. Now, it doesn't make them as cold as um, you might want, but well, in a quick manner, I mean. I'm sure over time, if you were to try and get stuff cold over the course of a couple hours, you're probably good. But I do wanna highlight one thing. Let me see if I can turn off all the other noisemakers in this room. Listen to the turbo mode as it turns on. It's kinda of loud. So this thing overall is not the quietest I mean, it's, uh, comparative to the other new air products I have, this thing is the loudest of them all. Um, I have a kegerator from them. I have their deep freezer, which is converted to a keezer. I've got a wine fridge, and this is the loudest thing out of all three. Again, I think the real big pro perk of this thing is the artwork on the sides. I think that really is unique. Um, I do think the biggest I'm uh, probably the biggest pro of this, this thing itself. Cons, unfortunately, this thing has a lot more cons than pros, and they are starting with the price. The price of it is pretty steep. If you are in the market for something like this, you're gonna spend a pretty penny for basically the artwork on the sides. And uh, I don't know if that's worth it to you. Also, it is a pretty unique artwork, so not everybody's gonna wanna have this in their arsenal all the time. The function, turbo function part, I'm sure is very good for uh, quickly chilling things over the course of a couple hours, but um, I'm not sure I understand. I guess the turbo for one hour, it's just like a timer. You don't wanna leave it at 23 for the whole time. So that's probably the only reason that there's an hour or six hour mark is so that you don't leave it at 23 degrees because um, then you'll end up freezing some stuff possibly. So my total review of this thing, pretty expensive. It works well, I mean, utility wise, it works well. It does its job, it makes things cold. It's got storage space, it's got adjustable storage space if you're wanting to move shelves around and do that. Um, if you're in the market for it, if you want some cool design stuff, it's great. But uh, if you're just looking for something to make something cold, um, I think you can probably save some money elsewhere. So I just wanna be real with y'all and tell you the truth and my opinion of this. So if you are curious and want to um, w you know, support the channel in a way, here's some information on how you can do that via some uh, promo codes and stuff like that. So feel free to check that out in the links below. 
I hope you enjoyed this silly challenge. Um, again, it's a silly challenge and I understand some people are gonna be mad. I'm also sorry for bailing at 90 push-ups. Um, I, I am not, I, I, uh, I had this video idea a couple weeks ago when I was thinking about how to incorporate this thing. And I, I did 100 push-ups to see if I could do it, and I could, but then I was sore for like seven days. Like my chest was like about to die for seven days. Probably gonna feel that tomorrow. Same thing for my legs. So sorry for bailing. Um, leave me a comment below if you could do 180 push-ups um, in less than 40 minutes, because I'm curious if I'm just, uh, if I'm just that weak. <laughs> I hope you uh, enjoyed this and have a great day. Cheers.